It is time. How are you doing, ladies and gentlemen? My fellow gentlemen. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Uh, uh. Good evening. How do you do? I say, it do be a good time for a Halloween-themed costume contest. You look magical. Why, thank you. Oh, God, my monocle. I didn't rehearse this. So this is kind of spontaneous. Croissant? A dab? Sure. Dab. That works. I thought of this bit like half an hour ago. It's just some stuff that I got from a couple of years ago. Oh, I forgot about my mustache! Ah. Oh. I... Uh-oh. No, God! It's okay, I took it off. No, God, please, no! No! Evil villain, no! bro. We're fine, we're no! good. Cool, cool, cool. All right, uh, I'm not great at, you know, these sort of things, so what I'm gonna do is put my character right here. I'm gonna, the person who's, uh, all the people who are participating, as I call you up, you will come up to the stage here, to the center. The first person that's gonna show off their costume is gonna be, get it together. Your move. You're the first person on my list. You can come up right underneath the, uh, well, not quite underneath the jack-o'-lantern, but like, I've shown you. Aren't we cosplaying, VB? Well, you can cosplay as well. If you want to cosplay, that's absolutely fine. You can cosplay, or you can do something spooky. You can dress as a cat girl if you'd like. What? Dude, is that? Is that who I think it is? That's Kratos. That's so cool. Yeah, cosplay is, is fine. Absolutely fine. It's freaking Halloween. The dad of war. Oh! We could have had, like, maybe an Asura cosplay as the sun. Just you. Oh, he just used a human mini. Use a human miniature. <laughs> I love this. The tattoos, the scar on the head, the beard, the mean look on the face. Instantly uh, recognizable. Boy. There you go. Boy. That works. <laughs> All right. Very nice. Very badass, dude. I love it. Fantastic cosplay. All right. Next up on my screen is Gregoria. It's Gregoria's turn. I'm going to keep the UI up just in case, you know, they're talking. That's a bat. Are you a vamp? Oh, a vampire? With a syringe for sucking blood, I'm betting. Oh, I'm loving the cleavers. Is that blood on your face? How'd you get the blood on? Oh, is that a Halloween um, customization that you can get? That's really good. You got the wings? They look like Morgan wings. That's really good, yeah. I was hungry. You were hungry. What's with the, the music in the background is really throwing me off. <laughs> but I'm not changing it. It's fine. And the chainsaw? You are Halloween incarnate. You've, you know, you heard the memo. You heard that this is going to be a Halloween-themed fashion contest, and you just went... All, all the Halloween things. You went to the local Spencer's store and just like, can I have everything that's Halloween, please? Yeah, okay. <laughs> you understood the assignment. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Look at the chain boots. Oh, that's so cool. Loving the eyes as well. Okay, thank you, Gregoria. That is so very cool. Very, very cool. Crow, you're up next. 
Gregoria ate the other contestants. Figures. Everybody but Gregor. What the hell? You came in with a jet... A T-Rex? It's... Oh, no. <laughs> I was a little confused when I saw the T-Rex, but then, like, oh, now I understand. I get it. The Red Ranger. Oh, you had to grind for that helmet. That's one of the new helmets in End of Dragons um, from Gala Delve. No, it's not. It's not that one. Oh, Soldier's Gas Mask of the Ranger. Oh. It's not the same one. It's from Season 1. Well, I don't blame you for not having that one because that one's kind of a grind. A big, big grind. I am wondering, like, how did you even get this look done? What the hell? Because that legit looks like a jumpsuit. Okay. Now it just needs a Gundam. Oh, if you were a mechanist? Oh, no, but then you would have to be the Green Ranger for that to work because the mechas are green. If only you can customize your mecha, change their color, right? Either way, and you have like two sets. You have, you know, the Red Ranger in his, you know, battle suit and out of his battle suit. That's really cool. Nicely done. Bravo. <laughs> okay, thank you, Crow. Next up. Okay, next up on the list is Stellar Force. You're up. Your turn. Murda La Sakara? Wait a second. What the hell? I'm gonna go closer so I can have a look at your outfit. That's a Plague Doctor's mask. I think it is. No, it's not. From the front, it did look like it. But it's pretty damn close to one. The reason I assumed it was is because, like, you have a hoodie and a mask on, and I saw the feathers around your shoulders. Like the Bone Dagger. Is creepy, and how the hell do you shoot out of a bone gun? How's... How's that work? Get out of Quaggan, you're so short. But... Are, it's not my fault that they're so tall. They can get that way with enough calcium. Uh, I don't think they can grow guns and daggers, though. You're just zooming in on their kneecaps. I wanted to, you know, dress up, but, like, I'm not super creative like some of you guys are. So it's either I dress as a hot Cheeto or I dress as a Quaggan. Thank you, thank you, Stellar Force. Ooh, looking cool, Joker. Indeed, looking cool. The hot Cheeto is more creative, not gonna lie. More creative than Quaggan? I'm not really dressed up. This is more like, you know, one of them uh, sexy Halloween costumes you see at them uh, college parties. Yeah, it's a, it's a Halloween costume, quote-unquote. Eleanor, you're up. It's your turn. Oh. I got bonked as soon as the, the witch came in. What the? Oh! That's cool! Speaking of, you know, those types of costumes you find at college parties, there you go. A classic! You can never go wrong with dressed as a witch. And you came in with the new witch hat that they brought for Soto. Nice. That's cool. Wait, what is that spell book you just used? You have the staff as well? Wait, the staff is the weapon. What is the, the spell book? It's a, it's a legendary focus? Oh, you have that. And is this the same spell book that you have on your... Oh, no, I thought it was. It made me think that that was the same spell book. Okay. Very cool, though. Mad Memoirs Complete Ignition. Okay. Very, very cool. I dig it. Also like the, the mini Gwen pet. The ghostly one. The back one is from Halloween. 
that's a skin then. Anyway, next up is Lilith, aka Lucinda. It's your turn. Come up to the stage, please. Oh. <laughs> Wait, what is this? This one's name is Torchwick? The pumpkin or you? I carve pumpkins. So you are Torchwick. <laughs> Let me see the pumpkin. Okay, all right, it has a face. Much like yours. The Mad King gave me this face. Out of, you know, some joke? Or as a reward? All right, let me see this. I'm gonna get up close. What the hell? I feel like I've seen those glowy ruined uh, shoulders before, but I don't know if I've seen the candles. Is this specific for Halloween as well? I love it though. They match with the hands. The shoulders match the hands and the color coding with the entire outfit. It's consistent, is what I mean. Even with the weapon. The weapon is like, not super orange. It's actually kind of green. But yeah, it matches with the rest of the outfit. It would have worked whether it was orange or green. It's probably the lighting though. It's most likely the lighting that makes it look that way. <laughs> very goofy, but very, very nice. This is Jack. Hello, Jack. How are you doing? I'm Vanilla Bean. Is Torchwick done? Yes, Torchwick is done. You may come back to the uh, the candy corn area. I'm gonna call up the next person. Thank you. <laughs> the Mama Pudge, it's your turn. Food has arrived. Ooh. Oh, I know. Okay. <laughs> It took me a while to figure it out. All you had to do was say the magic words. Quite literally. All right. Profile. Yeah, I see that. You know, out of all the, um, the characters in Guild Wars 2, I feel like, you know, this race is probably the best for, um, what's his name, Voldemort. You even got the wand. That comes, uh, it shoots out the green death magic. Very nice. <laughs> and the snake pet. You got the snake pet. Albeit, it is the video game snake, but I take it that you had trouble looking for, you know, a normal looking snake. One Silvari face doesn't have a nose, actually. That's true, yeah. I guess the Silvari are another way to pull this look off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Thank you, Pudge. That is really cool. Really, really nice. <laughs> and adorable. Uh, Fluffy. Fluffy's finally home. It's your turn, Fluffy. <laughs> this is just my... <laughs> this is just your... Bro, I see your heel skirt. Almost every stream. <laughs> it, it's just your character. <laughs> you didn't put effort into this contest. How dare you? Yeah, it's it's technically spooky. It's very nice. It's very well done. You look like um a witch doctor. Yes, yours is technically spooky too, Sky. You're the Grim Reaper, but I see those costumes every day. Yeah, yeah but I feel like it's a little unfair because they've had, you know, a long ass time with these looks. All right, well, thank you, Fluffy. No more res for VB. Wow, I'm a white rabbit for Halloween. I've arrived, let me see. Is this Albie? It is Albie. All right, Albie. Is this your costume? 
You look like if Ifrit from Final Fantasy was uh, hit with the anime girl beam. <laughs> That's cool. You got the demonic shoulders, the scaly stuff on your hands, <clears throat> the hammer, the horns. Jeez. Hold on. Carlac. Yeah, it's Carlac. Ooh. But with wings. If only we can be tieflings. You kind of can be, actually. You just have to be a red Silvari and rock the horns. Yet another cosplay that you can probably find at a Halloween-themed college party. Nicely done. Thank you, Albi. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> then I believe it's Helper Monkey? Helper Monkey, are you participating in the contest? If so, come on up. Subgroup 1 is participators. Subgroup 2 is uh, people just wanting to watch. Why not? Oh, okay. All right. More bats. That is acceptable. Now, I've seen hundreds of Morgan cosplays in Guild Wars 2 because she is probably the most popular character to cosplay as. That said, it doesn't make this any less great. The Morgan spectating tradition is gone now. I don't know what you're talking about. It's always here. It's never been gone. There will always be Morgan. I love it, yeah. Really, really nice. <laughs> Freaking Trev. Now, if only we had, you know, her sister Lilith, you know, to pair along with her. We never ever get, like, you know, cosplay pairs or cosplay groups. It would be nice to see, you know, some of those in the future. Thank you, Silly Tree. Thank you, thank you. Lovely outfit. Love me some Morrigan. All right, well, without further ado, let's have everybody come up on stage. Line up, please, if you can. You can uh, try to form a line. <laughs> Torchwick wants candy corn. There's plenty of candy corn around. Tons and tons of it right here. Okay, all right. Who do I think is the top three? Oh, man. Okay, you know what? I think I know who the winners are. So I'm going to call out third place first, and then second, and then first. Third place will be Lilith M. Pancrasia. I hope I said that name right. You win third place. It's a very, very goofy outfit. Very spooky. I was hoping someone would make use of the new paper bag item in the Halloween event this year. I'm lo Again, I love the shoulders, the candles, and the colors you've used here. And the patchwork costume right there. You've made use of uh, a lot of the Halloween-themed items. And I dig it. Creative use of the jack-o'-lantern as well. <laughs> a fireproof paper bag it would have to be yeah I didn't put much thought into that it's okay it's a magical one second place the lunatic the lunatic court will be proud of Torchwick not to be confused with the nightmare court second place will be Kratos the god of war you win second place. Now, maybe it's because I'm biased, but... And I did want to choose, you know, a very Halloween-appropriate costume. But this is just too badass to pass up. This is incredibly badass. I freaking love this. That is such a good Kratos. I agree. You've chosen, like... All the right materials, the right gear, the weapons. I didn't even know you had that scar. I don't. I did not know that scar was a thing that you can choose for character customization. The first place winner is Gregoria. Gregoria, you win. 
this Halloween fashion contest. Again, you understood the assignment and you went all in. You went all in. You went hard. You decided, you know, what did I want to be? Did I want to be a vampire? Did I want to be a, a zombie? Did I want, you know, this or that? And you just chose yes. Very good. Very, very good. I, I can't... Yeah, I'm just, you know, if I praise you any further, I'd just be gushing. Thank you for putting so much effort into that costume. That's really damn cool. All right. Thank you guys for, you know, participating in the Halloween fashion contest. This was a lot of fun. I was going to do Dobby. Ah, oh, Dobby would have worked too. You and I are wearing the lunatic apparel. Are you really? Lunatic acolyte coat. Oh, just color differently. I see now. All right. You're using the bloodstained lunatic noble coat? Let me see. Oh, no, it's different. But they're both from the Halloween vendor. You all did an amazing job, by the way, you guys. Props to all the others. You did a great job. 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 Uh, you didn't even try. You did not even try. <laughs> Wait, Edward Elric? Wait, whoa, hold up. Why didn't you come up with that? Bro, you're even using the miniaturization, uh, the miniature tonic to make yourself shorter. <laughs> and that's Alphonse. Oh my God. Oh my god, the anime nerd in me! <laughs> Why didn't you participate? This is so good! Oh, Edward! Uh, to be fair, that'd probably win an anime themed contest. I wonder if I should do an anime-themed contest. I would love to do an anime-themed contest, but I don't know if I have enough weebs in the community to justify a contest. I would love to, though. Nose job time. You you used a um, one of them character customization kits to do the nose? I mean, it makes sense. Yeah. Wow, the dedication. VB waifu pick me or silly tree? Zero two or more again? Oh, that's hard. Neither. Hey, let's not get too crazy. I am more beautiful. <laughs> Silence, wench. I do not wish to be horny anymore. I just want to be happy. Very hard to pick. I don't know. Uh, it's hard to pick between Zero Two and Morgan. I like them both. Okay. All right. How about we uh, just fool around and goof, uh, goof off in the hide and seek mini game event? Fool around, eh? Not, not like that. Not like that. No. <laughs> Chill. <laughs> Goof! I meant goofing! 